two people killed along with a canine officer in a valley neighborhood. I just never expected for it to end the way it did. We dig through the police report to find out what led up to the deadly shooting in broad daylight. Homeowners are furious after they say they were swindled out of thousands of dollars. And he promised so many things. The money available to them after installing solar panels they could never actually use. And tonight we're wrapping up an era here at Channel 8. We will all be grateful to you for all of the things you did over the years. It's Paula's last newscast and we'll look back on her 28 year career at KLAS before she officially retires. Now, Nevada's first choice for news. This is 8 News Now at 6. Thanks for joining us. I'm Paula Francis. And I'm Dave Corvassier. We are learning more about the paranoid man who started shooting up a Northwest neighborhood, leaving two people dead, also killing a Metro Canine officer, Nikki. 8 News Now reporter Mauricio Marine is live with the latest on the investigation. He's near Fort Apache and Iron Mountain Road. Mauricio. Good evening. James Simpson shot and killed two neighbors after they tried to come and help his mother in distress. According to an arrest report just released, we we're learning the victims' names are Brandon Hughes and his mother, Felicia Wimberly Hughes. Now, when police moved in here to try to stop the threats, more shots were fired, and one neighbor caught it all on camera. Cell phone video shows a chaotic scene unfolding on this normally quiet street. When police arrived on scene, they told the suspect to put down his handgun. At first, he set it on the ground, but then grabbed it and ran. That's when canine Nikki went after the suspect. According to the report, Simpson started shooting at the officers as K-9 Nikki took him down while police shot back at the suspect. Neighbors say they first called 911 after the man walked up and down the street, firing off rounds, threatening to shoot at anyone who would approach him. You know, coming out, seeing this guy, you know, yelling for help at first, and then started egging people, come out of your house, come out of your house, I'll shoot you too. You know? The suspect's mother reported to police her son was acting strange that day, saying he was paranoid that someone was after him and was carrying around the gun in her house. She fought to get the weapon from him. That's when neighbors who heard the commotion tried to help and encounter the suspect near the house garage. According to the report, that's when Simpson shot Brandon and Felicia Hughes. Another neighbor told us they heard the suspect's mom screaming for help during this whole ordeal. Now, according to jail records, we checked Simpson is facing multiple charges. He's facing charges including murder and attempted murder. Now he's scheduled to be in court Monday. Reporting live, Mauricio Marin, 8 News Now. Thanks, Mauricio. Homeowners are furious after they say a local energy company swindled them out of hundreds of thousands of dollars. We're talking about Summerlin Energy. The state contractors board revoked their license for unfinished solar projects. But the companies they subcontracted with for supplies put a lien on many homes after Summerlin Energy failed to pay them as well. So both subcontractors and homeowners lost big. It is a nightmare and I hope everybody that decides to get solar panels do more investigation. Will be the truth. Of the, the whole 55 truth. complaints filed, each homeowner lost about $30,000. Two complaints came from subcontractors who lost over a million dollars. You can go to our website and click on links we mentioned to file a complaint yourself. The most fan friendly of all the sports is in Las Vegas this weekend. And where else can fans get such an up close and personal connection? Chris? That's right, out the NHRA out there at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. They they call it the strip and maybe perhaps NHRA and NHL most fan friendly sports in all the world perhaps. I'll show you why coming up in sports. And the weekend is here and it's looking good. Temperatures in the 80s for Saturday and guess what? Wind is on the way. We'll show you when when we come back. Stick around. This week at Walker Furniture, everything is half price. Every living room, every bedroom, every dining room, half price. And the sale price includes the sales tax. Plus, pay no interest for two years through Monday at Walker. Sunday, it's the ACM Awards. We're back in Vegas, baby. With superstars Tim McGraw, Florida Georgia Line, Carrie Underwood, Blake Shelton, Chris Stapleton, Eric Church, Keith Urban, Jason Aldean, Kenny Chesney, Miranda Lambert, Little Big Town, Martina McBride, plus a not-to-be-missed duet with Dolly Parton and Katy Perry, and your hosts Luke Bryan and Dirk Spentley. Join me and the new guy. <laughs> the Academy of Country Music Awards Live. CBS Sunday or stream it live.
This is the best time to buy. It's the spring clearance event, and Tobin Dodge can help get you out of your upside-down trade-in no matter how much you owe. Hey, it's shot with Tobin Dodge. Check these deals out. New Journey, only $15,887. Lease new Durangos for just $177 a month. Save more than ever at the number one Dodge dealer in the nation, Tobin Dodge. That's New Journey's just $15,887. Lease new Durangos for just $177 a month. That's Tobin Dodge in the Valley Auto Mall, number one for a reason. Mrs. Patio will help you create your backyard of leisure, beauty, and comfort. Select from a large stock, the very finest in outdoor furniture, cushions, umbrellas, and accessories. Delivery is always free of charge. You are invited to visit us in Henderson at Sunset and Valley Verde, in Summerlin at Flamingo and Wallapai, and at our newest showroom in the Centennial Center, Ann Road and the 95. Mrs. Patio offers the best of the best in luxurious outdoor living. The Amazing Race is back Let's go! with a staircase that'll take your breath away. There's a lot of bouncing on the boobs. New Amazing Race, CBS Tonight. It's the ACM Awards with superstars Garth Brooks, Tim McGraw, Florida Georgia Line, Carrie Underwood, Blake Shelton, Martina McBride, Keith Urban, Little Big Town, Miranda Lambert, plus a not-to-be-missed duet with Dolly Parton and Katy Perry. Join hosts Luke Bryan and Dirk Bentley. The Academy of Country Music Awards Live, CBS Sunday. A morning newscast shouldn't focus on fluff, but it also shouldn't be a downer. I mean, we're setting the tone for the entire day. So we're committed to doing two things, giving you the news you need and helping you start it off with a smile. Like when you're talking with your friends over coffee. It's a fine line, but we want you to know what's going on, whether it's bad or good. Thank you. So you can go out and make your day work. This week at Walker Furniture, everything is half price. Every living room, every bedroom, every dining room, half price. And the sale price includes the sales tax. Plus, pay no interest for two years through Monday at Walker. It's April Fool's Day on Jeopardy, and there are ten ways we're going to try to fool you. Can you find them all? Don't miss it. Next, only on 8 News Now. You're watching 8 News Now at 6 with Dave Carvassier and Paula Francis. The news of Southern Nevada is now. Okay, what was it you said earlier? Fr uh, Friday forecast for Francis's future. Florendo's oh, yes. <laughs> fabulous. Fabulous forecast. Paula Francis final forecast. Thank you. No, we yes, did yes. it. Farewell. Yes. Farewell. <laughs> and I've got a good, good forecast for you, too, Paula. Temperatures outside, not too bad right now. We started off uh, cool this morning, 77 to high. That's good, right? We're getting warmer as we head into the weekend. 55 degrees, your morning start, the normal 74, so we were above average, the record on this date. 92 degrees set back in 2011. Last year, we had several days in the 90s. Not the case this year as we stayed on the cool side. Outside right now, 73 for Summer, 76 for Henderson. Aliante, you're at 75 degrees. We're at 73 for those of you down in Anthem. Good evening to all of you in Blue Diamond right now in the southwest part of town at 74 degrees. 78 for Prump and 77 for Lake Mead. Laughlin in the 80s and Mesquite just shy of 80 degrees at 79. The severe weather continues down in the deep south. Look at these storm reports. We had multiple reports of hail. But the red icons again indicate where we had actually tornadoes and funnel clouds. And that was in Tennessee, all the way through Georgia and into Florida. And that continues to push its way towards the east. Tornado watches are still, this is a new one, big one. Tornado watch now extended here all the way into Georgia through the Florida panhandle. All effect until 4 a.m. Uh, that's eastern time. So we'll be watching that move through Panama City. All right, your local radar shows high pressure over us. That's keeping us on the dry side and the warm side as we head into the weekend. Your allergy report, mulberry, ash, and all the reporting some high readings due to the warmer weather we're seeing outside. 55 degrees overnight, clear and cool conditions. Winds, slight breeze out there will decrease more overnight. Our high tomorrow, 80 degrees, sunny and nice, and that will be above average. Your recreation forecast, even better. Lots of sunshine, 58 degrees from Mount Charleston, cool and comfy. Sunny and tranquil at the lake, 82 degrees, and uh, Laughlin will have a high of 86. Here's your extended forecast as we head into your weekend. We'll be even warmer on Sunday. Breezes return next week on Monday, Tuesday specifically. And then we start to cool off with a chance of showers by Friday, a week from today. That is your most accurate Weather Now forecast.
from 8 News Now, this is Sports with Chris Matthews. All right, the roar from the north end of the Las Vegas Valley coming from the strip at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. The National Hot Rod Association is here this weekend, and with the titanic horsepower comes drivers and fans unlike any in any other sport. Fast cars, faithful fans and drivers is what the NHRA is all about. And you can talk to them, you can watch them do everything. You know, they don't keep you away. They invite you in. And Your access to the drivers and their, um, their acceptance of talking to you and being around you. These guys talk to you a little bit better than the NASCAR guys. And it's exciting for all ages. It's the drivers, it's the fun, it's the excitement. The drivers are very nice. They allow you to do signatures. There isn't another sport where drivers are so accessible and freely give of their time. My dad and uncle were huge fans and brought me out to the racetrack where I got to see and touch all my heroes and be like, hey man, that's, that's Kenny Bernstein. That, that's, that's right there, that's Big Daddy, that's Shirley. Like all the stars of the sport. And then, hey, here's Mark Oswald. You saw him all and you're like, wow. Funny how this sport is. Single runs cost upwards of $15,000. But a single autograph or smile, that's priceless. I really like to meet drivers and I don't know. Do they smile at you and give you their autograph? Yeah. Is that fun? Yeah, really fun. NHRA has always been so fan friendly. They're not, uh, they're not above everybody else. That's what makes them unique. Let's hope some things never change. Are you the fan favorite this weekend? I don't know about that. I mean, I, I love being out here with the fans, but there's so many great drivers, and, and especially my sister coming off her win last weekend. I think um, a lot of fans are definitely going over to her monster tent, seeing what's going on. But I think for our Draxis team, it's definitely a, a good weekend for us. All right, certainly let's hope so. Fans were out today. They'll be back there tomorrow and again on Sunday when they crown a champion. And did you hear the little bit of a roar from here? Because when we were driving in, it's like one of those, whoa, oh, it's there so you go. loud. Yeah. Yes. Thanks, Chris. Okay, tonight, 28 years in the making. After the break, Paula's former co anchors, Gary Waddell and George Knapp, will join us in the newsroom to share some of the memories made over the years. It's College Road Trip Week on Wheel. Hold on tight. Hold on tight. Where the party never ends. Do that move again. I like that. And everybody wins money. We can afford to give it away. Next Wheel. Tonight at 7, only on 8 News Now. Monday morning, the brand new park on the Strip opens to the public. This really hopefully becomes the center, the new center of the Las Vegas Strip. We'll be there live with everything you can enjoy at the new attraction. Plus, ride sharing a very popular option, but a lot of women don't feel safe using it alone. Picking up men that I don't know or if they're out drinking all night. The new service for women driven by women. And break out those shorts and sunglasses because spring is getting warm. That's right, we're bringing back the 80s. Your forecast Monday morning. Hi, I'm Dallas Horton, and I'm proud that Martin Dell Hubble provided me with an AV rating and named my law firm a preeminent law firm in the country. What that means is we have the highest legal and ethical abilities. When hiring a personal injury lawyer, make sure he has the proper credentials to take care of you. When you get one gig internet from CenturyLink and Prism TV, and they're both delivered on a super fast fiber network directly to your home, it's amazing. It is amazing. But do, do you think his delivery was a little flat on that one? Yeah. Just um, Paul, I think it's a little bit more like, it's amazing. Oh, oh Mom, that wow. was really good. Thank you. Amazing. Wow. Feel like a Hollywood insider. Okay, I'll work on that. With Prism TV plus gig internet speed from CenturyLink. You want to feel connected at one with your world. Informed. Included and inspired. So no matter where you are, when important things happen, we're here at all hours, in the moment, on every screen in your life. Your local TV and radio broadcasters, we investigate and inform, give back to the community, build the local economy, even save lives. America's number one source for news, weather, and information. And unlike any other news source, we're here, 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 and here. We are broadcasters, always here for you, wherever here may be. Text TV to 52886. Tell Washington local stations matter. 
Sunday, it's the ACM Awards. We're back in Vegas, baby. With superstars Tim McGraw, Florida Georgia Line, Carrie Underwood, Blake Shelton, Chris Stapleton, Eric Church, Keith Urban, Jason Aldean, Kenny Chesney, Miranda Lambert, Little Big Town, Martina McBride, plus a not-to-be-missed duet with Dolly Parton and Katy Perry, and your hosts, Luke Bryan and Dirk Spentley. Join me and the new guy. <laughs> the Academy of Country Music Awards Live. CBS Sunday or stream it live. The seven-day forecast on 8 News Now is sponsored by Walker Furniture. All right, well, unless you've been living under a rock, you know, you know today is Paula's last day here at Channel 8. In fact, this is her last newscast. We're joined tonight with her former co-anchors, George Knapp, Gary Wendell. Thank you very much. You know, we heard so many great stories about Paula and her amazing career here at KLAS today, including a few tales that were actually true. Uh, <laughs> some of the lighter moments that were unveiled today must never be allowed to see the light of day, mostly because they were completely made up. Uh, by any standard, though, it's been an amazing run for Paula as we see it. Let's look back. Good to see you, President Obama. Thank you so much for taking the time. No, oh, thank you. A one-on-one -on -one interview with the president is about as good as it gets for a local journalist. But in Paula's long and stellar career, it's one of many milestones. Right up there with a trip to New York for the solemn one-year anniversary of 9-11. National political conventions. <laughs> as well as the parade of mayhem that spills out of the TV nightly, the kind of stories that can wear a person down over time, as she recently told her friend Gary Waddell. The Sandy Hook shootings, where that unmentionable young man shot first graders at point-blank range. That's the kind of story you cannot understand. Mm -hmm cannot understand. And of course, before that, there was 9-11, which was a very sobering thing. The world has changed while we watched it and while we reported on it. Well, you know what holiday the Almanac says it is today? No, but I'm dying to find out. <laughs> In the 80s, she was a bright, big-haired youngster named Paula Dilworth on the air in Madison, Wisconsin, alongside a seemingly teenaged Kevin Janison. Then moved to Las Vegas in 1985 for a job at Channel 13. It didn't last. KLAS News Director Bob Bob Stodall couldn't believe it when 13 let her go. When I first heard that, I, I said, this has to be a mistake. Stodall hired her within 24 hours, and starting in 1988, Paula became one of the foundations of a nationally known news powerhouse. She was promoted to co-anchor the 5 o'clock news with some bearded guy, then rose to become evening news co-anchor with Gary Waddell, First, a partnership that lasted resident, almost two decades. Overlapping those years, Paula had another TV husband. She co-anchored with Dave Cavassier for more than a dozen years, keeping Channel 8 at the top in ratings and respect. She was a stable force in the newsroom, day in and day out. You're talking about three decades of showing up day after day after day and contributing to that newsroom to make it one of the great newsrooms in this country to work in. The job meant interviews with rich and powerful movers and shakers, but also public service, countless MC duties for community organizations, and hundreds of public appearances for worthy causes. And I remember uh, getting stopped on the street and people would say, uh, hey, aren't you Tom Warden of Channel 8? And I would go, <laughs> Yes, as a matter of fact, I am. And then they would say, well, uh, what's that Paula Francis like? She is so nice. For her frequent health reports, Paula developed her own network of medical professionals whose advice was beamed out to hundreds of thousands of people who needed it. And you know what? My kids have grown up with Paula. They've, they've watched her, they know her, they know her face, and they trust her. I mean, over the years, it's gone from long bangs to short bangs, long bangs to short bangs. I mean, I've always tried to talk her into doing a bob, but she just won't do it. Few people know as many secrets about Paula as her longtime hairstylist, Katie Taylor. But true to the code of the salon, she's not spilling much. Katie's wall is a photographic testament to the transformations that have taken place atop Paula's head and which have inspired so many others. I had Paula Francis lookalikes all over Vegas when I first started doing her hair. Seriously. And, you know, she's done so much for me. I mean, I really appreciate it. But, you know, I mean, everybody else won't be able to see her, but I get to see her every four weeks. Wait, people come in and say, I want Paula yeah. Francis's yeah. hair? They call her and then she emails them and lets them know my number and 
Oh, yeah, all the time, at least once a week. Take She's a held down the fort the during every election night broadcast for a quarter like century, has been as much a part of Las Vegas New Year's Eve as the fireworks themselves. And for her friends and loyal viewers, the world simply won't be the same without her. Uh, you go home, you see Paula's face on the air, you hear her voice telling you how things are, you just, you know, things are going to be okay. Gary, I remember when you retired, you took me aside and said, you got to watch out for Paula. <laughs> I did. I did. And, and I, I, think I think Paula it. can watch out for herself. And you said, yeah, but it's Paula. <laughs> <laughs> and that just said everything. Yeah. Oh. She was, uh, she's special. Yes, she certainly is special. We've had it. We've had a great time. We sat there for 20 years. I said at noon that, I, you know, it was kind of like a forced marriage. It was a work marriage. <laughs> yeah. I, I spent more time with you probably than my Why was my I wives. never called your t TV husband? I wasn't marriage material? <laughs> well, yeah. well, it took longer than three years. Yeah. <laughs> you look at this stuff. I mean, it seems like it's a long time. It, you know, a lot of years went back like then. That. that man, it, it like went that. by fast. Yeah. It did, okay. didn't it? It's yeah. amazing. Yeah. It's Ralph amazing. Lamb. I saw that uh, one election return. Boy, that goes back away. Yes. Yeah. You know, how many years? What, 88 you started? Right? Yes, here I started. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. You think Ju that's almost? January 25th. years ago, yeah. 28 years. How about $25,000. <laughs> you know, uh, you missed Ned Day. You didn't get, yeah. you knew Ned Day. I met Ned when we were covering mm. Judge Claiborne's impeachment. So at least I got to know the legend. He was Great we always, we always talk about I always talk about the fact that George and Ned ran the mob out of Las Vegas. That Channel 8 ran the mob out of Las Vegas. Yeah. We also exposed Area 51. We did all those great things over, over the years. Yeah, yeah. we it threw the really light at the Luxor. Right, lit up all the stuff. We really hit the, the best hotel. years of TV. Yeah. yeah. All it's it's amazing to get paid for it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm happy to get paid You were paid? Yeah. You know. <laughs> Early on, we sort of invented it. Yeah. I mean, we sort of didn't know what we were doing. Yeah. We kind of so figured true. it out as we went. Yeah. Well, listen, as we go to break, here's a look at some of the hundreds of posts for Paula our viewers have been posting. You can add your comments by going on our 8 News Now Facebook page. We'll be right back. Sports on 8 News Now at 6 p.m. is sponsored by South Point. You get in an accident. You're hurt. You call Ed. Ed Bernstein? You can handle it yourself. Or you can call Ed Bernstein. Don't try to do it on your own. Enough said. Call Ed. This week on Jeopardy, we've got challengers who can do this and this. You do a great impression of Donald Duck sneezing. <laughs> Some contestants hope history will repeat itself. She was on the original Jeopardy with Art Fleming. It was in 1973. Did you win? Yes, I did. And some are just out to make a point. He's a contestant for one reason and one reason only. To prove my life wrong. Don't miss the fun. This week, only on 8 News Now. At Discount Tire, we're not just about tires. We're about people. We take pride in getting you the right tire at the lowest price for your vehicle. And right now, get a $70 Visa prepay card when you buy any set of four Michelin tires. Mrs. Patio will help you create your backyard of leisure, beauty, and comfort. Select from a large stock, the very finest in outdoor furniture, cushions, umbrellas, and accessories. Delivery is always free of charge. You are invited to visit us in Henderson at Sunset and Valle Verde, in Summerlin at Flamingo and Wallapai, and at our newest showroom in the Centennial Center, Ann Road and the 95. Mrs. Patio offers the best of the best in luxurious outdoor living. See this truck? Bring 49 down and pay the payment on the window. See this beautiful car? Bring 49 down and pay the payment on the window. Newport Motors is selling every car and truck for just 49 down. And pay the payment on the window. Like this 2014 Toyota Corolla, just 49 down and 198 per month. Or how about this 2014 Nissan Rogue, just 49 down and 237 per month. Bring 49 down and pay the payment on the window. Only at Newport Motors. Las Vegas's new car alternative. Monday morning, the brand new park on the Strip opens to the public. This really hopefully becomes the center, the new center of the Las Vegas Strip. 
We'll be there live with everything you can enjoy at the new attraction. Plus, ride sharing a very popular option, but a lot of women don't feel safe using it alone. Picking up men that I don't know or if they're out drinking all night. The new service for women driven by women. And break out those shorts and sunglasses because spring is getting warm. That's right, we're bringing back the 80s. Your forecast Monday morning. Whether you're on the road, watching television, surfing the web, or on the go, with our new app, wherever you are, we'll be there to help. Enough said. Call Ed. The news on 8 News Now, brought to you in part by the Valley Auto Mall. With 20 dealers and 25 brands all at one location, the Valley Auto Mall is the clear choice. Now at 6 with Gary Waddell and Paula Francis. The news for Southern Nevada is now. You're watching Channel 8 News Now at 11 with Dave Cavassier and Paula Francis. The news for Southern Nevada is now. All right, it is still <laughs> 2016. Don't worry. Those are <laughs> some of the old news opens we were able to dig up from uh, Channel 8 archives. Uh, and, and, you know, that's that's always the thing. You've got to have a new people? open for every new team that comes yeah. across. Yeah. You know, I wonder what it's like to be in another kind of business where they can't relive your past hairdos. And, and yeah. It doesn't happen on TV. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Well, today we had uh, all the fixins. It was a packed house, a packed tent, actually, rather, and a special luncheon held here terribly. in the parking lot of the so back station fun. for Paula's retirement today. Uh, plenty of old friends, That's Channel great. 8 alumni, co-workers, family, all on hand for the retirement party. It's really fun. They all had great things to say. Some of us had not so great things to say <laughs> that, uh, that we, we can't reveal to the public. Yes, Amazing please. turnout, though. Senator Richard Bryan, uh, Dean Titus, and a representative, uh, Senator Heller, Joe Heck, uh, a lot of prominent folks, and just uh, our colleagues and friends as well. It's That's amazing. Wonderful. Let's listen to some of the comments. You care about people, and, and that ability to be able to communicate that on the air night after night, week after week, month after month, year after year, decade after decade. Every day you left Channel 8 a little bit better than when you arrived. And that is just so hard to do day after day all the time that you did that. Uh, we're going to miss you on the air. We will all be grateful to you for all of the things you did over the years, the changes you've made in us, the changes you've made in Las Vegas, the things you have done for this city. It's been wonderful. I got to say, Paula, uh, we are just going to so miss you because, as I put on your poster, uh, you set the pace for excellence as a human being. You enrich people's lives. Everybody you meet, you've enriched mine, and I thank you greatly. So we had uh, a little fun at the retirement party, too, imagining <laughs> what our coverage would look like one year after Paula retired. So watch this. Thanks, guys. You know, Paula loves her perfect weather days, but I'm afraid she's going to get pounded by some not so pretty gusty winds. We understand that Paula Francis has left her home. She's on her way to Caesars Palace, where she's expected to see the Celine Dion show. If you caught any of our earlier coverage, you know Paula's had a pretty busy day today. Dave, I can sum it up in three little words. Glug, glug, glug. The question shouldn't be, where is Paula eating tonight? The question should rather be, where is she drinking? We, uh, we expect Paula Watch to be the highest rated show in the Valley for the next year. You can find the 8 News Now studios, by the way, on Channel 8 Drive. Yes, they named a street after Channel 8, but that's not the only street you'll see around our building. Yep. When I retired back in 2012, they named a road there by the entrance gate, Gary Waddell Way. And uh, when our longtime general manager, Emily Nielsen, retired last year, we renamed the road by the exit gate, Emily Way. Well, today it was Paula's turn. A brand new street sign put up in the middle of our parking lot out back, proclaiming it <laughs> Paula Francis Parkway. Parkway. She makes it look good. Yeah, uh, yeah so while, while she's retiring, a part of her will always be here at mm. Channel 8. Which part? <laughs> <laughs> Your legacy. Yeah. That's so uh, fun. We had such a good time today. Uh, some familiar faces yeah. that we haven't seen for a long so time. So a lot of people great. haven't seen in a long time. Yeah. A lot really of our nice. colleagues behind yeah, us how about yep. that? Yeah, there they are. They're all off. 
What a great place to work. Oh, and I, I want to thank all the people who have written me letters and emails and posted on Facebook. I'm so touched. I can't believe it's all about me. So thank you. You're too humble. You, you've, you've, yes, you've Thanks. earned every every last bit of respect. We even got a cake here. It looks like. Oh, right? excellent! <laughs> I wanted the cake. Yeah. We're thinking of doing the Gatorade thing with the cake, Polly. That's not. <laughs> it says Happy Birthday, <laughs> uh, Dump Frank. It over your head. I don't know. <laughs> That's great, chocolate. We always have a tradition here at Channel A. When an employee leaves, we have a cake. So we couldn't let that pass right. by thank without you. having a cake for Paula. Uh, what, what a delightful career you've had. And, Thank you. Uh, we, uh, we, please don't be a stranger. No, no, Gary I won't. Gary hasn't been. You know, he, <laughs> no, he, he's always back here. every five, six years. So, no, every yeah. three or four years. I'm yeah. shocked that Gary still owns a coat. Yeah. 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 Nice. Yeah. yeah, my closet is going to be completely yeah. empty. Not nearly as many as there used to be. What are you going to do, Paul? Are you going to stay in here? Well, travel a lot. Actually, Steve and I have traveled a lot already, but we are going to drive through the United States. That's lovely. That's lovely.